Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do kind of an organizational binder crafting kind of project. I know that sounds really random, but that's how it's gonna be today. I'm in a random kind of a mode. But today I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna transform some sticker storage. So um, these are the things I'm gonna be using. These are the post-it tabs. Everything's gonna be linked below that I can find for you guys. So I'm gonna use these post-it tabs. I'm gonna be using my Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent Marker, a scissors. Um, this is a binder I've actually had for a while. It's a, I think it's a two inch binder if I remember right. Maybe a two and a half inch binder. Can't remember, but it's from Avery. I bought them on Amazon. I actually have two of them um, and I'm going to link it down below for you guys. And then um, this is a pouch that I've had for quite a while. This is an Erin Condren pouch and I don't believe they make this pattern any longer, but I had them put Coffee Break Planner on here and this is all my stickers from Coffee Break Planner. So here's my problem, guys. I have an issue, clearly. So I need to have some different storage because every time I go in that pouch, I'm thumbing through things and I can't find what I'm looking for and it's becoming an issue. So I was thinking about putting like adhesive strips on the side and doing all that, but it just seemed like I go through these so dang fast that I just don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I bought these on Amazon and they came in a big bundle. You can buy several of these and they are called the Binder Pocket. Let me take them out of this thing. And they come in a variety of colors. You can't pick your colors. I wish I could have picked all the colors, but I can't. So I got a bundle of, I think it was like 28 or 24 or something. There's a bunch of bundles you can get. So there's a bunch of different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in all of my categories. So like these are to me are like, you know, all my half boxes and I'll put those in there and I will make a little label and I'll throw it up at the top because you can't always see the side. And the nice thing about these little binder pockets they are for the smaller mini binders and it has Velcro on it, which is awesome. So, um, you know, it's pretty sturdy considering, but um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do today. Also, in preparation for this amazing event, um, there is a little side um, window on here and I just made this. I, Catherine doesn't sell these. This is just a fun little thing I have and I just wrote sticker swag on it. I just printed this out so I'll know what the heck is going on when I grab for my binders. Um, my other binder I have that's just like this is Chrissy and Designs and I made that one as well myself. So um, the Chrissy and Designs binders that she sells are a whole lot smaller than what my like collection <laughs> is. So, but I can now fit all my Chrissy and Designs uh, stuff into one binder. So yeah, anyway, let me kind of jam this down a little bit. So I know it's not like perfect, but I don't care. I think it, I think it looks cute. And then to show you for scale, here is my Christian Designs binder. This one still says functional stickers, but it's all the stickers now. I used to have two of these, which is why I have this older one. This is how I did my Christian Designs binder. If you guys are interested in how I did this, I will leave a link and a card up above and I'll leave it down below as well. I did this several years ago, but um, like this is how dang thick it is in there. So, <laughs> But I have all my categories like all written out and I think, oh, let me see if these peel off nicely. These might not peel off real nice. Ooh, ooh, I think they will. Yes. Okay, that's satisfying. You know how you peel things off and then it's like, there's like crap stuck on there or like adhesive and it's like, oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> All right, and I've got my little post-it guys. I don't know. Oh, there's 24 total tabs. I think I should be just fine. I've actually got all of my categories written down off camera. Yeah, why don't we speed this up a little bit and have me just do it and then I will share at the end all of my organization so you guys don't have to watch like a 45 minute video because nobody wants to watch that. And hopefully I can find some good music for you guys to listen to right now.
All right, so I am all done and I wanted to share with you guys what I did. So I just variegated all of the colors in here. So I just, you know, grabbed, you know, it was the blue, the turquoise, purple, pink, and then the gray, and then like so on and so forth because there wasn't enough of just one color or two colors to actually like, you know, make it look pretty. So my thought was, let's do the functional things in the front and then the more decorative um, like icons and things in the back. And that's actually how I have my Chrissy Ann Designs binder set up and I really like it. So the ones that I reach for the most are event stickers. So um, these are all the event stickers that I currently have through Coffee Break Planner. If you're interested in anything from Coffee Break, Plan blah, 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 Coffee Break Planner, there is gonna be a link down below as well as a little coupon code for y'all. But um, the scallop boxes are my absolute favorite um, in the event stickers. And then over here, I got half boxes. So um, I've got a bunch of half boxes from her currently and lots of different patterns and designs. So that is in there. Next off, this one's kind of a hodgepodge um, to be honest, but like I know it's in here. So I have some, I have one sheet of full boxes currently. I've got my transparent dots in here too. I think I need to just like relabel that, but you know, whatever. I know it's in there. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be in there because the transparent dots to me are super functional. I have flags and these are all different. Some are really decorative, like in the front. And then we've got some um, like more functional ones in the back. And then I've got, I put these in there too. They're like little, I don't know, they're like little cloud kind of looking things, but I don't know. I. I understand it. I understand my method to my mayhem, y'all. All right, and then over here, we've got all the scripted words you'd ever want. I'm pretty sure I have almost all of them from her, but yeah. And I even have like, this one's like a gold foil, which is really pretty. Love those. So then after the scripted words is kind of when like things get a little bit more like icony. <clears throat> so this one is my category of work. So I've got some little calculators and then I've got lots of different things that you would possibly use for work. So very cool. And then the next one is home. And then in the home category, just lots of, you know, different things, you know, garbage and car and house and all that good stuff. Next off, we've got food, which is pretty self-explanatory, but you know, lots of different food icons and different things like that, little, little mugs. And then the next category is animal. I would have put dog, but I have a sheet and I think I ordered this for like a specific thing and I like was like, oh, I didn't know that. Cows, I have a sheet of cows. I think I was gonna use them for something and I just didn't, so. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them in there though. I might use them at some point, you guys. Maybe when I like need to go buy some milk or something, I don't know. And then I have a sports category. I know, alert the authorities, right? So there's this like little, little football things. And then I do actually watch NASCAR. So I do have this going on. And then um, there's another football situation. So yeah. And then I've got these health ones. Um, there's only a couple in here, but I've got like, you know, like little pads and then um, a bunch of, I haven't got a lot of these, wow, okay. Um, a bunch of these like little stethoscope stickers. And then my last category is seasonal. So this is basically anything that has a season. Um, so like, this is like a fair themed. We've got, you know, some like s'mores right here. I've got like school buses, like that, I don't know. To me, school buses is like seasonal because I don't have kids. Um, but you know, just something that's a little bit more seasonal. So yeah, and I've got like, you know, like half boxes, but they're wintery Christmassy themed. So that's all going in there. So I used quite a few of these. So really what's making it super thick is this Velcro, but I can close it just fine. This is what it now looks like. So it is a little thicker, but I'm totally fine with that. The thing that's making it thick, like I said, is the Velcro, but I'm totally down with it. This is what it looks like from the top, which is like extra freaking cute. I love this. I think this looks really nice. And then from the side, I can see all of my categories and where I'm going. I was thinking about putting it up at the top, like my Christian Designs binders, but I thought, that the side actually worked a little bit better for what I'm utilizing it for. So I don't know, I kinda, 
I'm kind of digging it, y'all. I'm kind of digging it. So anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today. If y'all have any questions, feel free to post them down below. I will link all of the things that I used or talked about today. If you organize your stickers in any way, let me know. I know I just did a big overhaul of all my other stickers, and I will link that video down below as well as up in a card for y'all too. But with my Coffee Break Planner stickers, I just had to do something a little bit different. The collection was so big and so massive that I just really wanted it all in one place. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little bit today. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Also, if you have any other video ideas, feel free to put them down below and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool.